ask you guys in the audience, if you think this is an unfair police tactic, raise your hand. Uh, yes, ma'am. I believe it's bullying. Anytime you intimidate somebody and scare them and you use those tactics, you know, it's heartbreaking that they did that to these kids. They're lying to them, and that's, by the way, legal in most states, even minors. It should not be legal. It should yeah. be illegal. Yeah, I, I agree. Uh -huh, in the back. You're basically giving them an ultimatum saying, you know, you either confess or in this situation, we're going to kill you. You know, we're, we're drug lords or whatever. We're going to kill you if you don't confess to us and help us fix the issue. Lassie could figure that out. <laughs> I mean, you can shoot me today or I can tell you what you want to hear. Uh, that's fairly simple math, even for a teenager. What do you think about this? You're an expert in these matters. Yeah, well, I think even take the expert hat off as a human, you know this is a problem. And right. If you can put yourself or your kids in this position, uh, you do this risk-benefit analysis. What's, what's the benefit of continuing to try to say I didn't do it? There is no benefit anymore, right? That option's been taken away. In fact, there's a higher risk of trying to tell the truth because there's going to be consequences on being promised. And, and so we're happy and very proud to be changing that culture in the United States and the way that investigations are being, are being conducted and removing the use of, of deception. I think what's, what's fascinating is we've had several states now ban the use of deception with juveniles, and most people didn't even know that was permitted in the first place. And that's the powerful, scary part of this. See, here's the thing. If a prosecutor is looking for justice, if you give them a denial and it's riddled with inconsistencies, they're going to be on that like a duck on a June bug. They're going to say, that's an inconsistency, that's an inconsistency, that's an inconsistency, I reject your denial. But if you give them a confession with inconsistencies, they just gloss over that, put the cuffs on you, and haul your ass off to jail. Mm -hmm. That tells me they're not looking for justice, they're looking for a notch in their belt because they don't challenge inconsistencies in a confession, but they do challenge inconsistencies in a denial, correct? That's exactly right. That's exactly right. When you see a confession that is telling a story that just isn't true, that just didn't happen, when you've got evidence that disproves the story, that's when every person who looks at that case, defense attorney, prosecutor, judge, juror, every person who looks at that case should stand up and say, something is not making sense here. Right. right? Something went off the rails. Do you have a story or a question for me? Click the link in the description and tell me what in the world is going on.